good start, wasn't it? Hello everyone, I hope you can hear me loud and clear. Amstrad Live Game Testing, episode 40, don't you know? Let's turn Doors of Doom down. Hey everyone, evening all, says Technic. Monkey Jesus is in there, Retro and Lim is in there. Craig Harrison's been in there from the start, and so has Yellow Belly and Raspargo and, 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 and Patrick, I think, as well. Um, the classics are ace. Welcome to Amstrad Live Game Testing. Hope everyone is doing good. Hope everyone... Hey, Mr. Bads, Paul, my buddy Paul. Thank you very much again. And to Hosco, love it to see you again. Wow, loads of loads of people in here. Uh, yeah, not in the mood for that, Steve. Thank you. Um, big smiles from Seti Gang and the Joy of Sticks. Hey, how you doing? And Mark Wheatley. Hey, how you doing? Wow, there's loads of people. And Flip Nast, and my word, they're all in here tonight. Richard Parnell, the Bug Army, is in full force. Yellow Belly, of course, is there as well. Gath, wow, Major Belly. Sir, oh dear, I, I, it, was, it was touch and go whether I was going to make this one. It really was. Um, I'll finish work late. Mike Smith, how you doing, you handsome devil? Um, and Clansman as well. Wow, uh, loads of people. Uh, sorry I missed last week. I will catch up at some point. Hey, no worries, Technic. Wow, yeah, like I say, um, Major Belly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, I, it was touch and go whether I was going to make this one this afternoon. It was um, I was dozing off because I finished work late and uh, had to jump up here rather quickly. And then, just, and then, and then, and then the laptop decided that it was going to do a, an update. Um, and then Google wouldn't log in and wouldn't play ball, and you know. Anyway. I hope I'm doing a bit of a max headroom here as well, aren't I? What's going on? I'm max headrooming all over the place. What's go oh hello? <laughs> oh monkey Jesus! Hey, oh, thank you very much. For some reason, the animation's not playing there. But two pounds on the super chat. There he is. There it is. Let's done get the ball rolling like the stream. Oh, thank you very much, buddy. That's so nice of you and very kind of you to donate as well, considering you're also a member of the Bug Army. Well, wow. uh, Mouse Star, how you doing? Well, the loads of and Game, ha Game Hammer, Zoe. Been t uh, tough times recently, hasn't it? Yes, indeed. So, like I say, I don't think the laptop's playing ball tonight uh, with me. Um, so, I hope for uh, hopefully things are are going to go fine. It's uh, not not it's not behaving like it normally does. But anyway, no work. Can I be? What can I be promised from this stream? Rejected from, redirected from John Gage's channel. Right, well, the uh, the classics are ace. If you are unaware of this stream and the way it works, is I take a lot of cassette games, like this one. Not This is not a particularly good example, but there's one we're going to be testing tonight. And uh, see if they load on a real Amstrad CPC 464. So uh, that is essentially the uh, the gist of the stream, and we have a good chat about things. And oh, oh, Andrew Joseph, two pounds on the super chat. Oh, thank you very much. All tapes work, he says. Zoe, one ninety nine. Let's see if the animation will work this time. It worked a little bit that time, didn't it? It's a laptop playing around um, because it's just done an update, and um, yeah, it's uh, sort of doing a, like I say, it's doing a max headroomy thing going on. But that, that is the gist of uh, of this stream. We have a good laugh and a good giggle. Bad games, good games alike. And uh, there we go, Game Hammer, classic gaming. The animation started to come up and then sort of, I don't know why it's doing that. I really don't. I'm so sorry. But thank you everyone for, for your donation so far. Oh my word. Well, in, inundated with them already. It's so cool. Thank you guys. So, the games for tonight. Um, hopefully this uh, Hopefully this will settle down. Things will settle down. I mean... Yeah, the uh, the software's fine. It's just uh, for some reason the uh, yeah for some reason the, um, the the laptop's just a bit jippy tonight. It's not in the mood, but hopefully we will be in the mood. So the games tonight. This is Inglorious 16 color mode. Oh yes, yeah, is Doors of Doom, which I just uh, loaded up to test with its gr grandiously repetitive music. And it goes on like that. Um, yeah, fantastic. Loading the first game. Oh, we'll be loading the first game in a minute. Right. 
So the games we've got for you tonight, because um, I acquired a few more. Xeno, some hovercraft racing stuff, I'm not sure, looks like it. Some hover bike racing stuff, I should say. Xeno, we're going to try that, that's in pretty good condition. Now, if you uh, are big fans of the stream and do follow the stream, you will be aware that once we tried one of the worst games for the Amstrad, and it didn't load, unfortunately. And Laszlo, how you doing, buddy? Laszlo's in the house. The animation is being a smeghead. Indeed it is, the, asset, the classics are ace. Um, we tried loading this, this game before, Airwolf, and it didn't play ball, which thankfully a lot of people really like that. I've got to go. The other half is calling me. Good luck with loading, Novaberg. See you later, Nerdlingers. Yes, see you, Zoe. Have a good night. And thank you again. So we're going to try loading Airwolf again. Now, will that chew? Will it load? I don't know, but this is my second copy of Airwolf to want to my detriment. Then we're going to go for a couple of uh, snooker games. I think we have acquired a Steve Davis snooker. Was he told? I'm known to Steve Davis World Snooker, but this is just Steve Davis Snooker. So we're going to have a go at that one. Airwolf Chew, please, says Craig. <laughs> and, uh, oh, another one. Retro Unlimbed, Steve. Oh, thank you, man. Chew bugger. Hope not. But the animation, oh, the animation's sort of working now. It's, uh, it's a bit jippy. Uh, a bit buggy. It's a buggy in the bug, isn't it? May. That might iron out some of the wrinkles. It's better than... Uh, oh, what are we talking about there? Airwolf. <laughs> Very good. Hopefully it will. Bloody hard, impossible game. Oh, yes. Definitely in Dobby Thunder. Definitely. Um, and another pool game as well. World Championship Six Ball Pool Hustler. Oh, just Hustler on the side. Mm. So there's three games. And we also got a big box. We've got a big box to go for. And our big box tonight is North and South. This is an amazing little pack. This massive, huge big box with a lovely gold finish. Look at this gold sleeve. It's like a block of gold that you take out of here. Look at that. Wow. So North and South. That will be a first time load. Uh, first try and try, load that for the first time. It's a big one. It is a big one. Hey, old, old school NYC gamer. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. And JJXB's in the house as well. Raspargu, north and south. Ooh, indeed. Right, let's turn off Doors of Doom and get on with the loading this afternoon. And like I said, it was touch and go this evening. Uh, shall we get Airwolf out of the way? Now, let's go for Xeno first because I've never seen this game before. It looks like it's never been played. It's a bug bite game. Xeno. Never. Or Z Xo, Xeno, I don't know. Never seen it before in my life, never played it before in my life. Play the game, press space. Uh, computer will begin to play the current game variable settings. Ah, it's got a demo mode as well. Okay. And it doesn't give you any clues of what this game is all about, but here we go. Seems to be quite a steady load so far. Uh, we'll try Airwolf later on, I think. Right, what are your uh, what are your predictions, everyone? Come on, we haven't seen any predictions yet. Predictions. Oh, North and South landed for the CPC. Played it on the Atari, and it was awful. Here we go. Hey, Pac-Man. How you doing, buddy? Ooh, Xeno. Xeno. So I've never played Xeno, so I don't know what it's like. Um, did I see Smooth MJ sneaking in there? How many tapes tonight, everybody? We've got five. Five tonight, the usual five. The usual five suspects. So we have Steve Davis Snooker, we have World Championship Six Ball Pool Hustler, Airwolf, Xeno, and North and South. Those are the games for tonight. So what? So what's the five tapes? What's that five tapes? Four or four with Airwolf on self-destruct in five seconds. How many are there? Five! Five! Five games. Hey Patrick, how you doing buddy? I predicted with two pound that all will work. Going for a 5 out of 5 is Andrew Joseph. Going for a 5 out of 5 is Mouse Star. Going for a 5 out of 4 out of 5, should I say, is Steve Retron Lim. Um, Full House says, uh, who was that? Was that Technic that says Full House? Uh, 5 out of 5 says Mr. Bads, Paul. 5 out of 5, yes, says Technic. 4 out of 5, hopefully, says Craig. He doesn't want, um, he doesn't want Airwolf to load. A 5 out of 5, stick on for, for Joy of Sticks. 3 out of 5 says... Patrick. 
And Smooth MJ says five out of five dull, and he because he's again not sure about Airwolf. It's a nice bright loading screen, isn't it? Be warned, Overbug North and South is a bad multi-load. Yeah, I know it's got mul it's got two tapes in there, but we're going to see if at least the first part, if we can get to the start of the game, we'll be at least and see if we can get to that point. That's the point we go because I know it's a long bad multi-load. Uh, four out of five says uh, Mike Smith. Ten out of ten says Clansman. 100% load, says Richard Parnell. Uh, the Classics RA says 5 out of 4. A lot of dis people, dis people, disappointed people tonight. 5 out of 5. <laughs> uh, stickhead you dude. Yo dude. Oh, the joy of sticks. Indeed, yes. 5 bonus games. Uh, mouse late vote and a nice late finish. Oh, I don't know about that. I've got work tomorrow morning, so we'll see. Uh, I'm amazed at any Airwolf games that don't load. Surely they were all only played once. <laughs> Maybe. <coughs> uh, late Night Reviews. Hello. Welcome to Amsterdam Live Game Testing. Welcome back, should I say. And thank you for that nomination again. Yo, yo. Uh, same graphic artist as Ghosts and Goblins. I say it's, um, yeah, I suppose it is. Isn't it? S C T C. Um... Yeah, it's a nice little loading screen, that. 1986. This is quite an older game. Never heard of Xeno. According to this, it's Antic Game of the Year. So it must have been pretty decent. Yes, I know the clocks go forward tonight. Yes. Um, I call it a night at 3 a.m., mate. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know about that. Yeah, Antic's Game of the Year. Look at that. Wow. Um, let's see if it was Game of... Let's see if it's going to be Game of the Night. Um... Has anyone seen my latest video, 180 Darts? I did see it pop up on my uh, my subs feed earlier, Patrick. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to watch any videos today, to be fair. Um, oh, yes, the clocks go forward, late night reviews, they do indeed. I've only seen two, seen two screens from Airwolf. Uh, what a burk of a game. Oh, tell me about it. It's a it's a terrible game. <laughs> Don't trust anything, Amtic says. It was run by a bunch of simply CPC haters. <laughs> oh, shit. We lose an hour's sleep tomorrow morning. We do indeed. Hovercrafts that don't cover balls on the loading screen. Yes, there's balls. Yeah, hovercraft. I oh, know. I don't get it. I don't get this game. I don't know what it is. There's a yeah bike hovercrafts thing with a puck there. <coughs> I don't. I can't tell what the screens. Can't. I can't tell from the screenshots what the hell is going on. It says screenshots taken from the Amstrad, but they are literally just cameras. Very poor camera shots of a, of a CRT monitor, so I can't actually see what's going on in them pictures. But there we go. Um, what, what, you, what do you expect, eh? Uh, no, but i just got to say, uh, obviously John is a smaller streamer, but I'm loving the audience interaction here already. Yeah, there's, we try and we, we pride ourselves on the uh, on the Bug Army. We really do. Let's represent, represent Bug Army. Um... Beer time for PMC Retro Gamer. Oh, is he in the yeah, evening, folks? PMC Retro Gamer, how you doing, my buddy? Ah, Amtix Magazine. All the paper round money went on that and Cherry Coke back in the day. Yes, the Amstrad, they're, but they're both gone now, of course. Well, Cherry Coke is barely around still. Um, you got to pay like £2 a bottle or something like that. Something ridiculous. Hey, Crazy Borg, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I sent your... Um, I wonder if you've got your Bug Army card yet, because I did send it a while back now. I know it's going to take a while to get to get to Deutschland, but I did send it, mate. And uh, Richard, your uh, the thing that you asked for as well is also in the post as well. Uh, remind everyone of merch. All oh, right, yeah, I, yeah, okay, yeah. In the link, in the in the in the description box, I think I put the link in there. In the description box, you'll find. That I've cr I created a merch store. Everyone was uh, saying make Bug Army merch and stuff. So I made a merch store at uh, Spreadshirt. So you can go and... Uh, no Bug Army card yet, Chris. I sent yours ages ago, Patrick. Ages ago. You should have got it by now. Loads of people have been... I know Monkey Jesus got his and, and Technic got his and a few others got theirs. Um, that's weird because I sent yours ages ago, Patrick. So I might have to send you another one. Got my card and counter today, bug. Oh, good, good man. Well done. I'm glad it got to you, Richard. I'll wait for it. I'm in the countryside. Mail may take may, may take a few days more. Okay. Uh, got my bog army card. Well done. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, that's nice. Nice little loading uh, animation there. Oh god, I got bloody what is this nonsense? Oh, it was it was doing an update. I've just realised the, the the laptop was still updating while I was streaming, and that's why there was a bit of glitchiness going on. So this is quite a nice little um, intro. No music. Let's see if it's got any music. Press space. What the blimey? First quarter, you just, you just go straight into the game. Well, what do I do? Well, okay, so let, hey, let me, okay. Um, what are you supposed to do here? There's got, there's no, there's no guidance. There's no, gu okay, fine. I like the I like the I like the crowd, but there's, there's there's no guidance of what to actually do here. So that computer player is beating me. I've got no control. Um. So what? I, oh, that's a nice effect as well. Let's see what I can do here. Hang on. I've got. Have I got some control here? I've got no control at all. Ah. Ah. Ha, 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 ha. Hang on. We had arrows there. Aha, right, okay. I can't find the controls. Aha, hang on. Right, there we go, I found something. Right, okay, that's weird. I have no clue what the hell is going on. It didn't even tell me, tell me what to do in the bloody box. That's a nice little blur effect, I've got to admit. The graphics are actually pretty smart. Um. Okay, missed the ball. Oh, I'm going to hit my own goal here. Yay! That was good. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like Sub Sabutio. Yeah, it is a bit like Sabutio, isn't it? Okay, right. Well, there you go. Hit that. Supposed to... There we go. Yay! That was fun. Hello. Oh, Patrick donated one pound on the on the speed. Oh, thank you. And I scored a goal just at the moment. Brilliant timing, Patrick. Thank you for that. Excellent. That, I tell you what, I could probably get into that. That's an interesting game. Um, it, it's very strategic, isn't it? And you've got to know what you're doing with the keys first. It looks a bit like Speedball 2, but no players. You say game of the year. And you know what? I think it could be an enjoyable game, actually, because you've just, you just got to know the keys and controls and get into it. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Patrick. The crowd are thrilled. Yes, they were amazingly thrilled. Oh, my God. This tape looks like it's in a mess. And it looks like a long load, too. This, it looks like a bit ropey, this, this tape. Oh, dear. But let's give it a shot. This Steve, Blue Ribbon, Steve Davis Snooker. But it's turning fine. That's good. Right, so Steve Davis Snooker. Good old Steve. One of the best, I think. Mr. Boring, as they used to call him. Mr. Mr. Interesting or something. That was his thing. Game of the Year. 1986 BC before CPC. Yep. Knighthoods to those who don't deserve. Uh, Antics gave it accolades the same way that Queen gives out knighthoods. Yeah, to, yeah, to any old sausage that comes along. That's right. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Harry Kane MBE. He can't even spell MBE. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Yeah, we got something. Snooker.cas. That's good. Excellent. Yeah, my my C, my four six four turned out to be a shambles. Your four six four. I don't understand what you mean there, Patrick. Your your four six four turned out to be a shambles. Uh, didn't work then. I take it. Oh, I mean, sure. Are you talking about this game? Um, I don't think Adrian Sugar deserved his peerage. <laughs> well, I, no, I, uh, my Alan Sugar, I got to admit. Steve Davis, the only thing that come to mind is Essex, Essex, Essex is crap. On the book, what? Oh, crazy bog on the on the 
Yeah, thank you very much, man. You got a message there which I can't quite read. That's two pound on the stream labs. Thank you very much, Crazy Borg. Wow, you guys are feeling flushed tonight. I'm really, really happy. You guys are right, so generous. Oh, look at this loading screen. We've got a slow builder, and we've got old Steve Davis's chop. Oh, they don't knock the camera bug. You've got old Steve Davis's chops. They're gradually appearing. Everyone, give Crazy Borg some love. Thank you, donators, so far, man. You're cool. Thank you very much. Let's just angle that up a bit. There we go. There is a, there is a, there is a, 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 a snooker player appearing there in, in, in the haze. This looks to me a quite a slow loader. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We'll see. We might have to make the other one. Uh, Hustler, whatever it's called. That's, that looks like a quick load, actually. Yeah, Wolf, well, we don't, <laughs> we don't know about that. Might go into, might might shoot straight from north and south. I think after old Steve O, Steve O, Dave O. Uh, oh, I see the one that came. For, you, you got posted to you. I see, Patrick. I see. It cost too much to send it back, and, uh, and to send it to the only person prepared to fix it. I see, right. So you bought that CPC, and it weren't no good. Got it. Ah, damn shame. Damn shame, mate. Damn shame. This looks like Tom Selleck appearing here, not Steve Davis. Uh, a nice juicy pear, Mal Star, indeed. Pears all round. Uh, oh, Kev Hal, how you doing, buddy? Uh, the AA tape loaded faster than this one. Yeah, the AA tape loaded faster than this one. Yeah, was it probably a different... Um, it's just actually... A, I mean, that loading screen is really slow loading. One of the slowest loading... Slowest loading... Slowest... Loading, loading screens. God, that's a tongue fucking twister, isn't it? Uh, that I've seen for quite a while. Blue snooker ribbon. This is blue snooker ribbon, apparently. It does say Steve Davis in there. It's his signature. My word, what a slow loading screen. Good grief. Every block, single. Yes, I know it's a block load. You, you tell me every time. I know it's a block load. I don't, I don't have to state it every time. I can see it's a block loader, but it's just a very, very slow one. Um, I uh, know the original staff, Monkey Jesus. Now he's the manager of Caravan Sites Business. Uh, Magnum PI Snooker. Yeah, it looks a, he looks a bit like Magnum, doesn't he? Definitely a bit of Tom Selleck going on. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, original release was by CDS. Is this uh, Blue Ribbon? No, it's not the original then. Look, I mean, I'm, I know this actually is pretty good. It's a pretty good snooker simulation for memory. Um... But yeah, my word. There he is. Giving it the old winky doodars. Looks like he's been punched in the eye. Probably by Hendry. Let's turn that brightness down a tad. Steve Davis is looking for the glory hole. He might get his eye poked out if he doesn't move. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a bit of Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. Yep. Yeah, indeed, Mark. Indeed. It does look a bit like that, doesn't it? Good old Steve. He was blue ribboned. Paps Blue Ribbon is going to get a bit of, um, <laughs> a bit of, uh, oh, what's that guy called? <coughs> what's that actor called? From that film, Blue Velvet, isn't it? <laughs> well, that rivals the hoodie, hoodle hoddle face. It's a good one, isn't it? It's, I think it's slightly better. I mean, it kind of looks like he's had a face off, you know, from that film face off. He looks like someone's chopped his face off and put another face on. It's so disjointed from his actual skull. So... Yes. Portrait looks as bad as Glenn Hoddle that Zypho is like to show us. Yes, he loves that one, doesn't he? That's Glenn Hoddle gurning. Electric brew. Dennis Hopper, that's it, crazy bog. Thank you. His name escaped me there. He's peeping. Kyle McLaren. McLaren? What's going on now? What are we talking about? I don't buy anything second hand, which means I can't have a CPC. Oh, you see, you got to take a, you got to take the jump sometimes. You got to take the risk. Unfortunately, I've, I recently some of these games. This one, for instance, this game loading at this moment arrived just a couple of days ago. Um, it's uh, because I, I I treated myself to another stash of uh, a loot stash of um. Oh, he's the one from Blue Velvet. Yes, 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 yes. The character. That's right. Um. Yeah, I treated myself to seven uh, tapes. 
Uh, Steve Davis Snooker, Hustler, and Airwolf being three of them, and the other lot I've got stashed back there. One of them being Uridium, and Raid as well. So, um, uh, how much would I need to bribe you to sort out my 464 Nova bug? Um, if you send it to me, bud, I'll have a look at it. Um, what's uh, PM me to tell me what's what you think's wrong with it. Um, and if you send it to me, I'll have a look at it, mate. Um, uh, yeah, by all means. I can't give you a time frame, but if you send it to me, I'll have a look at it. And see what's wrong with it. One like, one four six four save from the skip. <laughs> well, I've saved three so far. I've saved three four six fours from the skip, and of course, I've got that uh, lovely spanking new one. So uh, I'm still working on my third part of my uh, save a CPC video. I'm actually uh, looking at a way to um, this. This this one will focus on. I've done the electronics part of it, so this one will focus on sort of like. Uh, the casing and painting and spraying and sanding of the case. It it powers up but doesn't show any pictures. Okay, so you could have um so your CRTC might be gone. Possibly. So I could swap out its gateway. Oh hello. Uh, hang on a minute, it's loaded. Wow. It's still oh my did you hear my knee there? Good my god, my knee nearly fell off. Uh, one player, two player. Oh, it's because the block load is going to load again. It's going to load the table, isn't it? We're going to go for the short game. Uh, colour screen. It's a colour screen indeed it is. One player. Cursor sound on. No, oh, we're going to have to keep him. Press other key to play. Press the, any other key to play. Oh, well, there we go. There's a nice green. Uh, draw the board. That... Oh, I've got to put, yeah, put me... Uh... There. All right, hang on. You probably can't hear that. Right, let's go for a break. Yay! It did work. The problem is you've got to move this cursor around so weirdly. Right, okay, so we're going to sh just try and cut this one. And boom! Oh, it wasn't bad! I've sunk the black and the yellow, though. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's try and cut this one. Didn't work, did it? Oh, go in there! Ah, oh, it's actually a really like. Oh, I like this. Though. It's actually a really decent snooker game. But there we go. It did load. Um, in the end, blimey! Wow. All uh, oh, the gravels in the house. Forty-two watching tonight. Wow. Found a 6128 in the recycling centre a few years ago. That's a good find. A good one for the green screen series. It is, yes. I'm going to do this one on the green screen series, actually, uh, Mal. I've got a couple uh, of uh, sm snooker games, poor games, lined up for the green screen series, funnily enough, for a joke. So I will be doing that, Mal. Indeed, indeed oh. Right. Let me turn that down a tad, because that's going to be really loud when I, when I um, pump that up. Good, it loaded, and uh, I thought that was going to be a very, very long load, but it turned out it wasn't. So, let's go for the big box game. North and South. Great drama series as well with Patrick Swayze and uh, old Captain uh, Riker. Captain Riker? Commander Riker, if you remember. An American drama series about North and South, that North and South Wars. It was very good. I used to watch it when I was a kid. <coughs> i tell you what's really cool. You probably can't see it, but look at that. You got the Infograms logo embossed on the gold box there. <laughs> Bollocks! No. Ah, slipped out of my hand. <laughs> God. That was stupid. Anyway, cut that out. I was. <laughs> you can see the glow of the. You can see the reflection of the camera's lights. <laughs> I'm very behind on green screen vids, Chris. Oh, don't worry. Oh. That's all right, mate. Um, so you can see, look, look the infograms. Um, <laughs> yellow base laughing. You can see the infograms logo like, embossed on that, and that's really cool. Anyway, so this is the bit that I just dropped. <laughs> um, it survived. I mean, fuck me, it survived the last 35 years, so it survives idiot Novabug dropping it like a twat. Um, there we go, right. <laughs> Face A. I'm having a bit of a face ache at the moment, but there's a face A. 
Um, part three. Now, that's no fucking good, is it? We don't want to put that one in. We want to put this one in. Face A, part one. I think that's the one. Got to rewind it first. Oh, dear. Good grief, what am I doing? Very cool big box it is, isn't it? Look at the size of that bastard. It's a big old box. Look, it's almost the size of the freaking screen. <laughs> Goodness me. Um, his carpet embossed on the bottom case. A very cool big box. Morning all, Basabi James. How you doing, man? Too funny, says Malstar. In program bollocks. Yeah, I know. Didn't mean to say that. What happened? Just ran out to get a pint of the black stuff. Did I miss the most anticipated chewing of the year? No, just me dropping a big box on the floor and screaming bollocks at the top of my voice. Uh, love the big box games back in the day. Rarely had any. Mine were mostly budget versions from Hit Squad. Oh, I had a mixture of a fair few. I had, big, I had a few big box, mid box, budget. Yeah, that's loading. That's turning. That's turning well. Good. Yes, I bet Young Nova had many a chick. M many a chick goes south. <laughs> what? M m I didn't actually. I wish I, I wish that was the case. Uh, GP. I'm afraid it wasn't, unfortunately. Um, I had Eric the Viking big box. Cost me twelve ninety nine. Wasn't great. Loading north. LOL. Here we go. Dropping, <laughs> dropping being bollocks, mate. Indeed, yeah, I know. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, we've got a bit. Of, we love a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a casual uh, um, um, defamatories on the stream. Now, do you like the big box or do you prefer the smaller boxes? I, prefer, I I find the smaller boxes a bit tight to get everything. Well, you know, you know what they say about people that boast, Mister Stephen. You do know that, don't you? Um, I like, uh, in way, you know, is it, is it big box, little box, big box, little box, big box, little box, big box, little box. I don't know. Um, it's all good. <laughs> Private name, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back to Amsterdam Live Game Testing. Big, big box games were cool, too bad many of my friends, um, it was many of my friends that had them, my parents were cheapos. I had, um, like I say, a mixture of few. I had some, um, <laughs> What? I'm dying. What the fuck are you dying for? Oh dear. I assume there was no 118. Nova Bollocks. Yes, thank you very much. That's a major, major Rasta Bar action live dump go. Whoa! That's, yeah, Rasta Bar's all over the place. That's a psychedelic Rasta Bar fit frenzy. That is. That's your epileptic warning for the night. From my Dublon Tondras. Uh, first time here, mate. I've been hanging around on the other channel too much. I've seen you before, Private Name. I've definitely seen you before on the bug stream. I'm sure I have. Or maybe maybe it was on Owls. It might have been Private Name. So this is the loading screen. The loading screen is north and south in the middle. Which is actually kind of cool. Because it's got the... Uh, Oh, that's see. I love I love loading sequences like this. This these, these these loading sequences are cool. I love these loading sequences that do this. I mean, it takes a lot of time and memory, but it's just fun. It's it's interactive when they used to do this. It's um it's starting to get you excited for the game, isn't it? Epilepsy mode is worse than Zynaps. <laughs> yeah, private name is usually on Zypho streams. Hello, by the way. Yeah, I know he is. Yeah, but I'm sure I'd seen him on my stream. But anyway, welcome, welcome. Nice presentation. Indeed it is, Monkey Jesus. No bug, of course. Ah, I love it. I'm loving those bars. Going to dig it out to test later. Yeah, man, that's um, some serious roster bar action going on, isn't it? We're getting, we're getting excited from um, armadillos. Crunchy on the outside. Aim, aim likes armadillos. And weren't, weren't they, well, you got to admit, weren't, weren't infograms very progressive for the time? Look, they've even got the LGBT logo on the back of this armadillo. Read into that what you will. <laughs> I don't know. This armadillo looks particularly uh, jacked up as well. He's very long legs. He's trying to sort of like, you know, trying to stay away from the insects. If Private Name becomes a patron, what shall we call him? <laughs> Be Captain Name, wouldn't it? Oh, private. Are you talking about private, private? That's what he's getting at. Private, private. 
I mean, Lieutenant Private. He's out and proud. And Bugadillo, pimp my armadillo. He's the rainbow armadillo. You're a bit thick, really, aren't you? That's the advert, isn't it? The old uh, dime advert. Armadildo. Lovely. I wonder if Infograms and Lawsio had a top secret advanced secret so that in the UK you must never know about CPC programming book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought Skittles did, smooth MJ. Or, or was it... Uh, oh, no, it's probably the thing in the sky. Oh, here we go. Now it's gone green. Oh, now it's gone back to the colour. This is some interactive loading screen. It's probably the whole the whole side. The whole side of this tape is just loading screen. <laughs> That's all it is. It's all loading screen ones. Son of a bollocks, indeed. Saturday is usually, fam uh, uh, usually family time, so I never make it here. Um... Be you in the family in bed, so it's happening. Excellent. Did Skittles come first? You might be right. I don't know. Maybe Skittles did. Maybe, were Skittles around? They were certainly in America, weren't they? Oh, M&M's as well. We've been around for years, weren't they? So who knows? I, I, I don't know. We're reading far, far too much into this. Um, Harry Enfield. It was Amio. Hi, all points. Hi, all points. Nova, you. Hello, Anna. You. I point to you, Anna. And I tickle you under the armpits as well. How are you doing, Anna? Welcome. It's lovely to see Anna. Or at least uh, the word that says Anna Zero. That's the only bit. There we go. What is this dude doing? Well, we know what he's doing. Yeah, man. There we go. English. And that was the first part of the loader. Now let's play the, play the game. This is excellent. Hi, Anna Zero. This is more loading. That's what this is. These are all... This Success, it works. It did, well, that part of the loading bit works. I don't know whether it actually got into the game yet, Malstar. I played this on his stream. Yeah, he did. He, I remember him doing... I've never really got into the actual game of this, but I've always been, been, been very impressed by its loading, its graphics, its presentation. It's always been a very uh, technically good prowess game. Never had the time to sit down and actually get into it. I say we haven't got time to play the game. We've just got time to play the load. <laughs> North and South is the best game on the 464. This is from Private Name. No idea why I bought it. It wasn't a Civil War person that's good, but it's beyond good. Well, this is just a good war game, isn't it, really? Wait, another one. Yeah, more, more, more loading. As I've said before, I've done a video of this. I set the computer to play against the computer. Yeah, you can do that, can't you? Yeah. There's a demo. It's quite cool. All ports are great. Yeah, I remember it being a big deal at the time when it came out. And, it, and you got the elder. So for some reason, we've got God Save the Queen there. I suppose we've got God Save the Queen because I selected... Yes! Because I selected British, didn't I? Now we've got a loading screen. So we've got the first bit. Then we've got an animation of the Infogram's logo. Then we've got that first animation where you choose the language. Now you get another loading screen. Got an AA Master Game rating in AA66. I didn't like the ST version. It was way too hard in the battles. The animation was crucial, like the memory. God shaved the Queen. Indeed, um, Retro and Lim. You really are full of them tonight, aren't you? 40 minutes reached already. Hello. One or two players. Okay, one. Options. One. Define keys. Joystick. Go for joystick. Um, what? Define keys. Select. Space. Abort. A. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. North and South. Loading. <laughs> it's still loading. My word, we're actually going to get to the game. When we get to the game, it will say it's a successful load. It's not a successful load yet, because it's still loading the loading sequence. Good grief. I mean, it is a good loading sequence, but my God, is it long. Quite clever for the CPC to be shifting around all this into a very small amount of RAM while loading. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? I do agree with that. The American song, Old Country is the Sweet Land of Liberty, uses the same tune as God Save the Queen. 
Uh, I think it. Oh, you might be right there. You might be right. But I mean, we'll have to select French next time. Is it? But then it will play the American accent because the French accent sounds like the American accent. Oh, I don't know. Bloody phone died. Hi all. Hey, welcome back. If this loads, it should count as two. <laughs> I know. Loading screen simulator 90. Good evening, Bugloft. Hey, Gaz. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oxo Good is in there as well. I doubt. You've been in there for a while, Oxo Good, haven't you? Sorry, I haven't mentioned you. Hey, Joy of Sticks. Great channel. Indeed. Indeed, Joy of Sticks has a great channel indeed. Uh, no bug. Do you... Do you... Do you know the bug stream yesterday? I had those nasty 24-hour bugs. No, I didn't stream yesterday. I don't. St I try not to stream on Friday nights. Uh, I generally avoid it because of our owl stream. Uh, at one point, we have streamed together on a Saturday night, which was an interesting evening. Where we've got people were watching both at the same time, which is kind of fun. I saw most of his. This then died. Oh, we nearly got there. We nearly got to uh, to the actual game. When we actually get to play the game, then we're going to have to turn it off then because <laughs> we've got to move on to the next game. Because so I say, yeah, we're 40 minutes in on this, and we've got, this is the third game. So this is, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got to go from one of the best to one of the worst. We've got to try Airwolf next after this, and then Paul Hustler after that. So yes, uh, I try to avoid uploading CPC videos on Zypho stream day. Yeah, well, yeah, it's trying not to best not clash with them, that's for sure. Uh, because, um, yeah, it's uh, just, just a common courtesy, really. Uh, hi to all newcomers. Oh, Anna, you've got some belated bananas to dish out to Retro and Lim, to Patrick, to Crazy Borg. Um, and, there's, and there's a few others as well. Monkey Jesus. Uh, there's another one. And um, there was another one. Who else donated? I forgot. Ah, it was quick. Was it you, Richard? <laughs> I think it might have been. Um, uh, this had more to load them on Jeremy. They have been deployed, LOL. Oh, here we go. All right, I think this is the, um, yeah, this is it, the little selection. So who shall we be, the South or the North? Shall we be the South or the North? The South or the North? Let's be the South. <laughs> Oh, what's all that? I don't know what any of that is. Dun dun! Oh, it loads again! <laughs> oh my word! Right, we've got to wait for it to start. <laughs> the naughty north or the sexy south? Yeah, I remember that. Good, good song, that, wasn't it? Yova. Yeah, uh, Alan over the only streams I watch on YouTube. <laughs> and uh, we are honoured. We are honoured, Anna. We are honoured. We've cute shoot on. Click the photographer's bum. I did! No, I did. Heavy loading, oh no. Oh keep going, keep going. Yes, I'm keep going though. We'll get there in the end. But I think this tape's come to an end. Yeah, this tape's come to an end. It didn't ask me to turn the tape over, did it? Right. There we go. Oh god, I should have earned turned the tape over. See, modern games don't know what loading is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Epic load, as we, as, as the kids would say. Epic load. <sighs> Come on, let's get to the game. Can we get to the game? Still going. Still going. Mm. Love me some kin. Love me some kin. You mean Kim Justice? <laughs> Honoured, more like cursed. Uh, too many folks for me. I think the war was quicker too. <laughs> that was a good one, 16 bit J. That was a good one. Uh, great live stream, never uh, Goodbye. Oh, cheers, cheers, Mel Start. Thanks for popping in. Lovely stuff. Thank cheers, buddy. Sultan's Maze would have loaded faster, Clansman. Sultan's Maze is a slow loader, isn't it? It is indeed. Yeah, cheers, Mousestar. Um, blimey, this is a long loader. I knew it would be, though, and uh, Patrick forewarned me as well, so I did know. Uh, 
It's all in bits and pieces. But if you get to the bit of the game, so we've selected the language. Uh, so we've selected that. We sent to the control system. Uh, I was on an all-nighter last night and did not manage to sleep. Oh, no, who missed their sleep last night? I took Friday off to pay uh, one dollar Australia all day. I ended up in bed, no justice. Yeah, oh, got a bit buggy. Buggy boy would have loaded faster. No, buggy boy would have loaded by now. Isn't this on two cassettes? Imagine if it loads all four sides before gameplay. I don't think it does. Um, I don't think it can. More than anything else. Let's see if it loads something. Uh, well, it has loaded something. It's loaded... To be honest, this is actually a very successful load before. I wonder how AA squeezed the entire game onto one tape, their last cover tape. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Um... It is. It has been very successful so far, considering the amount of multi-load going on here. So hopefully we get something out of it. <clears throat> I just remember around my mate's house waiting for the C64 to load from tape. We waited about ten minutes, maybe more, and then it crashed. The C64 was notoriously slow loader, though, wasn't it? Um, from reports. Are you still using the resurrected Amstrad Novaberg? No, the resurrected Amstrad is right in front of me. It's got its case off at the moment. It's in bits. <coughs> Excuse me. It's in bits at the moment because obviously I'm restoring it still. So, there you go. Uh, Kim J had a brilliant clip of Nova dancing. Yeah, well, that was filmed at Play Blackpool. That clip of me dancing. It's on the Retro and Limb channel if you wanted to see that anyway. Oh, it's having trouble. I don't think it is. It, this was on two discs on the other side. This on two. It's, on, it's certainly on two tapes. The host scope, because um, I've got the sec. There's the second tape. There's a lot less on that tape, though. To be fair, there's a lot, lot less on that tape than this first tape. So maybe that's just like extra scenes. Maybe the it probably has a like a it probably has like an ending sequence, which is a whole tape long. <laughs> you know, just, uh, all the cutscenes. It's like the Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Solid of the Amstrad. That's what this is. It's, it's all, it's all loading cutscenes. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, I think it was one disc though. Uh, oh yeah, Patrick says it right there. Actually, it was one disc. Um. Oh man, how can I man my cat up? Man your cat up? I don't really, really know what you mean. Ma um. Well, what's wrong with the cat? Is it stupid if I fall asleep? It's stupid or if I fall asleep at odd times. Okay. Right. Come on. Another bug. I have this on disc and it's never asked for a second disc. Yeah. Um, I do hope this is still... Wait, it's, the master bars are still moving and it's not giving me an error yet. But my word. This is taking a while to load, isn't it? This is taking a while to load, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have to just nip over here for a second. Give me a sec. Just, just having a stretch. Because my, my back's just locked. That chair is rotten on my back. So excuse me. I'll be back in a minute. Ah, having a stretch. Oh, goodness me. Oh. oh, I start to hallucinate sometimes. Hallucinate, in fact. Hallucinate. You cannot change read error, but it would be funny right now. It bloody would not. No, there's no error. Showing your age, bug. Yeah, of course I bloody am at this age. Right. I sense our spelling's gone off this time. We set it down. Oh my, hang on a minute. No! It's gone very quiet. I don't like it. It's gone very quiet and it's not moving anymore. What have I done? Or did I have to load the other tape? I don't know! Old Star Gaming OSG, how you doing, buddy? We got so far. What happened? What happened? What about, oh, I think I did something wrong there. It's just there's no code coming through now. Sod it. What happened? 
What happened? Indeed, I don't know what happened. I just stopped. It's just there's nothing happening now. It's not doing anything. It did. It was loading. It was loading fine. Ah, oh, bollocks. That's the second bollocks for tonight. Well, it was loading lovely. Turn the tape. Uh, turn the tape to continue loading. I did turn the tape, but it just didn't. It got to. Don't. To, uh, oh. What does it want me to do now? I don't know. There's nobody just to phone to help. Blame Yellow Belly. The South won. The South will rise again. Right, okay. I'm going to call that a successful load. Honestly, I am. I'm going to call that a successful load because I think I did something wrong there. I think I, sh I stopped the tape and I shouldn't have stopped the tape and I turned it over. So I think I did that. But we got the lovely we got the lovely intro sequence anyway. So, you know, let's go for something really dreadful now. I'm going to call that a uh, the blame streak. Yeah, the blame streak. That's a uh, retro rescue, does it? No. Right. So... I'm going to call that a successful load. It was a successful load. Indeed it was. No chew. Did it load? It, load, it loaded enough, I think. I, said, I think that's a successful load. No bug. These riff -ruff don't understand the pain you go through each Saturday night. I do. I do go through pain every Saturday night. I do. The streak is over. No. I call that a successful load. I'm going to have to try. I will load that again on a separate stream to, to prove that that will load. And it will be f fully. Lo it will load fully. Uh, we'll be fine. Okay, everyone, let's have some fun, shall we? It's basically how the tune goes. Airwolf. So the first time we tried to load Airwolf, it didn't load. It's not wrong, just not 100% correct. Indeed. Right. So, terrible game, impossible game, possibly hard, good tune, good music. But the first time we attempted to load this, the Amstrad decided, no, I'm not loading that shite. And that was that. So, the series was good, the game not so good indeed. Cassettes might be might be new might be the new vinyl so I read. Yeah, there was I saw a thing about cassettes making a comeback. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Would be amazing. Choo 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 says Craig. No choose. No choose. Is there any code on this? You bastard, Craig! You it's not having it. It's really not having it. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want. The Amstrad just doesn't want it. It doesn't want Airwolf. It's like, no, 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 no. I am not loading that. It's, 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 it's willing to refuse. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Listen. Shh. Oh, there's a break in the code. There's a break in the code. Oh, let's have a look at the... Is there damage to it? There's no damage to it, but there's a break in the code. I can hear it. All right, okay, let's try side B. Sod it. Let's try side B. Side two, indeed. Yes, exactly, monkey Jesus. Amstrad is the Amstrad plague. Uh, Airwolf is the Amstrad plague. My chat sync is off. Are oh, you going to have to uh, refresh your screen, GP? Right, computer says no, we've been saved, nom nom nom, it's not, it's not chewing, it's not chewing, it's just, there's a break in the code, it's like every Airwolf, I think the coders knew, they knew the game was shit, they knew the game, oh bollocks, what did I do there, hang on, they knew the game was shit, so what they did is they put them on the cheapest, crappiest, crappiest, crummiest tapes they could, knowing that, oh, these people will load it once, they put it in the drawer for six months, and the tape will just corrode itself. Let me get anything out of this. Oh! 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 
Hold your breath. Hold your breath, Craig. What? Is this going to do anything? Or... None of the Airwolf cassettes had recorded on BASF, BAS Air Fact. Like a lot of releases were. No, that... I don't think it's done anything there. I don't think that's worked. Because it's actually running code and nothing's changing on the screen. Hopefully not. I think the tape... I think the tapes they are on are so crap that it doesn't, it just doesn't load. No, it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing. But I am going to try to get Airwolf loaded. Honestly, I am. Right. Let's just do something quickly. Where is he? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, not that one. No. That one. Yep. Just going to run the head cleaner. Going to run the head cleaner? Not twerking. Uh, B -A B -A -S -F, my dad swore by them. We had loads of them before. And uh, what were the other ones? Got a BASF one. Yeah. What is that one? A oh, 3M. That's a 3M one. I've got a spare 3M one there. Right. Okay, right, there you go. So run the head cleaner. It just, I, I, I just think, honestly, the, 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 um, the, no, piss off, I'm not twerking. Monkey Spaz 5000, tell her. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for twerks. Right, hang on. It just doesn't want to load, does it? Next person to ask Bug to twerk gets timed out or, or in the glass house. <laughs> Jimmy, the Airwolf game came in a nice little box. Hang on. Right, we've got a little bit of code there. And it should do something there, but it didn't do anything. It doesn't want to load. Pretty sure it doesn't want to load. 50 watching, wow, that's cool. A high speed dub it to another cassette always worked in the 80s. Uh, yeah, some... It sometimes does that, Black Duke, and welcome to the Amstrad live stream, by the way. This one, I, I just don't think my Amstrad wants to load Airwolf. Shall we try the refurbed one and see if the refurbed one loads it? That'll be interesting, won't it? It's windy in the bug loft, so you can hear the breeze. No, there's no, 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 it's not windy. It's not windy. Right, right, here we go, right. Okay, one final attempt. It doesn't want to do anything. It sounds like... It just sounds like the, the code is so corrupted on that tape. They just used the shittiest tapes. They really did. That, another shitty, shitty, shitty tape. I'm not going to... I was going to bother trying, but... It's just saying that because actually in other games, crap, the, the case is in really good condition. Craig, you got your wish, bud. There you go. Airwolf's an impossible game, by the way. So let's try let's try a bit of hustler, shall we? It's recorded on both sides, which is good news. Right, let's uh, put that down for me. There we go, right. Okay, let's move on. To the next game of this evening. So yeah, we had that one, well, I think that goes down as a failed load. Fair enough. So, I don't know. I, I'm saying that I'm saying North and South did load. Hey, Retro View, welcome back. Somehow I can't use CPC emulators with the system boot since I'm an idiot and don't know what how to start. Uh, you need to uh, press Control and Small Enter on a real CPC. You can do that emulated, by the way. But um, when you get the ROM, the easiest thing to do is just tick the checkbox that says Auto Load and uh, it will load itself. Give it up, it's like uh, Jean-Michael Vincent, it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> now it's time for Hustler. You type run retro view. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you can do that as well. You can type run. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, my Airwolf game was a nice cardboard box game, unlike Nova's. It must have been different. Not a breeze, my dog breathing heavily in his sleep. Uh, yes, there's no breeze. It's actually very calm in Cornwall at the moment. Very calm. It's lovely weather at the moment. Very calm, very peaceful, very serene, and very sunny for a change. That's a high pitch nine. Block loader. Another block loader for tonight. I'm just thinking, shall we try the refurbed um, Amstrad on the Airwolf? I don't know. I, I think the code is so corrupted on it. Nova's had a curry again. That's the breeze. No, I've had no curry. Not tonight. At one point this week, by the way, and I think Yellow Belly sent me a message. I got above. Um, I've been, I've been, my subscriber count has stalled. <coughs> and I'm getting more subscribers and it's dropping and it's going up and it's been doing this for like two weeks and at one point this week I, I got over uh, 2400 and then it dropped back down to under that so subscriber count all over the place at the moment well, I, did, I, I think I did get a nice shout out from Retro Rescue uh, and a few came over to me so that was really cool uh, he, did, he did his live stream breakfast show I think uh, yesterday or the day before um, but um, unfortunately I couldn't make it because I was working a plume nice to see you man really sunny in Cardiff here today too yes it was a bit nice weather down in the west country in the western isles you came out a few weeks back growing perspective when you hit on someone <laughs> oh he did 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 he R.A.P. Jean-Michel Vincent I like Bomb Jack sunny in Berkshire it's sunny, oh, sunny all round. I just dropped Airwolf there. I don't know. Bloody Airwolf. That's the second copy of Airwolf I had that hasn't worked. It just doesn't want it. At all. I just found out Zeus is a Sam Coupe. Does he? Oh, he um, did he post a video that he was playing a Sam game, wasn't he? I'm sure he did. You come and set your chat to live and drop a like to help spread the 8-bit. Yeah, thank you, Monkey Jesus, indeed. Go, retro, we go for a 4 out of 5. So you did, include, you, did in, you did include North and South as a successful load. Good. My Airwolf box was unusual because it was like a cardboard box type that shrunk down to a typical tape size proportions. Eh? And don't forget to like and subscribe to Nadberg. Don't just call him the bug. <laughs> you can call me that if you want. As long as you subscribe, that's the main thing. S subscribe and share. And like I say, in the um, in the link in the description box, you actually find the merch now, which I'm going to link to. Um, I'm going to link to Streamlabs. I'm going to link the merch to Streamlabs, which I haven't got th done that yet, but I will do that. So you can actually go to my Spreadshirt page where I've got some bug merch. Oh, we've got music. 1985 Bubble Bus. It's really low. Hustler by Dave Collins. Press any key. Okay. Any ball in any pocket. Balls in order. Ball in its pocket. Mini pool. Bloody hell, there's only different options here. Any ball in any pocket. Go on then. Let's do that. We've got, have we got control here? Would you stick? Oh, we do. Right, okay. And um, we've got a bar that sort of does that. Okay. Bang. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really good. That's uh, not not a great, uh, yeah, it's almost like a basic game. Not not brilliant and probably not good to watch either. Oh, that was fast. Right, let's give him a whack. And bang. Oh, I bounced out. No, again, great with the sound. It's just not the best ball physics ever. Um, the, the movement is slightly off. Hey, the white ball's in. No, the white ball's not in. <coughs> no, that's not in either. That's rubbish. A bit like the game. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that's good. 
Yay! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy all over the place. Fuck it. Whatever. Duh, 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 duh. Whatever. Yeah, that's ha that's not hustling nothing. I tell you what. What they meant by that game when it said world champion. What the, the title of this game? Get this, everyone. The title of this game is World Championship Six Ball Pool Hustler. Are you good enough? Really? Are you good enough? I tell you what. I was after the coder. Are you good enough, coder? Because the only fucking thing you've hustled me out is hustled me out of a decent pool game. Right. It loaded anyway. That's the good news. But also the good news is. The good news is also that uh, Airwolf didn't load as well. Okay. Nova would look good in the beanie cat. In, 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 in a beanie, Anna. Uh, I had a Sam Coupe and I bought from Macabre. Uh, had a power lead for it. Um, never had a power lead. And I always thought it made me sad when I think of it. Is this by the people who did Steve Davis Snooker? No, I don't think it is. Uh, slightly off. The beanie bug. It loaded, but it made me sad. Indeed. That looks shit. Angle ball... Is a good pool game. Yeah, Angle Ball is this. Indeed. Right. Um, so the final bonus game tonight. This will be the final bonus game. And this is my second copy of Riding the Rapids. Which I've had hanging around. It was going to be the bonus game last week. But I never got around to doing it. Bloody hell, I've turned that, turned that brightness down way down, haven't I? Because that was really bright, that game. So, we have a, basically tonight we had four out of five. We had your Hustler game, that loaded. It was crap, but it loaded. North and South, loaded, but I think I cocked the load up. Hip Hop Nova, diss track Specky Tubers. What? Boners game. Indeed, we've got a boners game. It's ironic that Bridget is recorded on a better cassette media than Airwolf. Both crap, but one of them has glitter on it. <laughs> yeah. It was honestly the, the cassette. The cassette quality of the of, of Bridget is probably far superior to Airwolf. This is just I'm holding it in my hands. It's a, it's, it's a crash smash. It was fucking. How is this a crash smash? Smashed out the fucking window, smashing your Spectrum bleeding keyboard. But another dead, another dead Airwolf. Steve Davis, he loaded. He loaded well. He didn't do an Eddie. And Zeno loaded, which in, is an intriguing game. Um, I think we're going to have to go into that a little bit more. And, uh, have a look at maybe do a green screen of that. Because yeah, that was all in blue. So it's going to be interesting to see how that comes out in green. Just come out all in green, won't it, really? That's exactly what will happen. Elite probably bribed Crash. Yeah, it's probably true. But my big box of uh, North and South, I will get that loading, actually. I'll do a, I think I'll film a special sort of separate video on that. A little presentation video. Because this is a really lovely version of uh, North and South, and in really good condition as well, so definitely uh, going to have a, a, a return to that, return to the North and South. Uh, might be getting a loading screen on this as well, but there we go. Alright. Trivia, the Airwolf license only cost, only cost at least £7,000 to get. £7,000, wow. Sounds a lot, isn't it, when you think about it like that? But it probably wasn't. Uh, it sounds a lot, not a lot, sorry, in today's money. But, of course, back then it was probably a lot. Or was it? I don't know. I thought that. Oi, there we go. Players, there he is, the old players logo. Yeah. The old players logo back up. 128 colours and no colour clash. Oh, and the Sam are we talking about? I think we're talking about the Sam Coupe, aren't we? Uh, Bridget was a footnote in gaming history. Uh, controversial opinion, Acorn were Spectrum 2.0. Oh, we've gone into some serious stuff now. Love North and South used to play it back on the Amiga. Oh, hello. There's a creaking going on. There's a creaking going on, but everything's fine. Uh, this game was coded by Paul Grovis, who later coded Dizzy down the Rapids. He liked Rapids then. He liked the Rapid stuff. Copyright players, 1987. Rob. It says Rob at the bottom there, doesn't it? Sam is not a clone. It is, it is an extended specky to run on specky code in, it needs to emulate. I know nothing about the Sam Coupe, but I do know it's slightly related to the Spectrum. That's all I do know. But I know nothing about the Sam Coupe. 
Yeah, didn't he uh, play Manic Miner on the Sam Coupe earlier? I think that was it. He also coded Fantastic Dizzy on the Sega Mega Sega Master System and Game Gear. Well, he must have got he got better by that point. And well, they were half Spectrum. Always half the people were ex Spectrum folks, I think. I, it's, again, I, I'm, I'm completely at a loss when you talk about the Sam Coupe. I know I know basic information about it, but that's about it. Uh, the Sam was pretty much just a specy with a slightly stronger audio graphics and no color clash. Uh, still a great machine though. Well, maybe. Ooh. Well, if it had no color clash, that would have improved it immensely. Uh, graphically, at least. I think I had this game. The loading screen seems familiar. Didn't play it much. All it was to do was fart. Oh, I was guessing it was all fart and no poop. Uh, okay, Mark. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. This is the bonus game, though, as everyone likes to mention. It's making the biggest amount of racket, though, as it's trying to load. Creak. Squeak. I was going to hold the microphone up. Yeah, listen, look at this. Yeah, listen. So like someone's bumping up and down on the bed. I don't, holding a microphone that close to the Amstrad is probably not the, cl the, the, the classiest of ideas as well. Um, no, not Squeak. I remember that game called E-Type. Tape. tape Stretch. Yes. But the thing is, it's not actually moving. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's not actually... It's stable. The, you can hear the code. It's very stable. And the movement of the spools is very stable. There's no movement. A bit weird. It is a bit weird. The magnets may be upset. All air and no substance. If this tape chews, you're, the CPC did you a favour, Neverberg. I know the game's not great. I know that. But it's probably better than the bloody um, Airwolf. But then again, you know, um, uh, taking a dump on a thistle patch is probably a better game than Airwolf. Don't know why I said that. That was a weird thing to say. Um, I remember Mr. E. I want an Archie on Archimedes. Pac-Man and Flashback were really popping out to me. Was that an Archimedes, was it? Pang on the Sam is the best in any format, including the 16 bits. Now, the best version of Pang is on the Amstrad G4000, definitely. Paul Griffiths, in the course of the interview, called the owner of the Interceptor... Uh, called the owner of Interceptor slash players a crook. <laughs> Fair enough. I think a lot of them were a bit dodgy. I'm off to bed. Thanks for the stream, Chris. Night, everyone. Thank you, Joy of Sticks. Cheers for popping by on the loading stream. Thank you very much. I'm going to wrap it up very soon myself. Because I've got work tomorrow. And, of course, the, the clocks go forward as well. So I lose an hour and I've got to recover. Um, I'm not going to early work that too early. but uh, work. Night Joy. He, he was Night Joy, yeah. Nope, no, but the Sam version is better. The GX4000 game engine with the Amiga graphics. The best of both worlds. I, I haven't seen that, to be honest. I haven't seen it, but I I defer I defer to the fact that uh, I, I have never seen... I've never seen that version. I didn't, hang on a minute. I didn't even know there was a version of the Sam Coupe. Shit, that means it knackers my bloody uh, Brief History of Pain video up, because I, I, I didn't even see that. When I, did, when I was doing my research for that, I did not know it was on the Sam. I did not know that. So I'm... Was it official, Craig? Because I've never... I, I, didn't, I didn't see that. When I was doing the research for Pang, I never once saw that it was, it was released on the Sam. Never once saw that. So that was... Um, yeah, that's thrown me, that. Uh, best game for players for me was Joe Blade. Yeah, I'm one of the few that like those games. Oh, no, it was a fan game embedded as a demo as a bonus stage. Ah, that's why I didn't see it. Uh, so, no, I'll upload the Sam Pang video tomorrow. Really? Have you got a Sam emulator? 
um, Patrick. If you have, I need one because that's one I don't have a Sam emulator. So uh, if you do, that'd be great. It was a fan game embedded as a demo as a as a bonus stage. So it wasn't a full game, but it is a full game. All the levels, eh? That that's confusing as hell. So what what? Embedded in a demo as a as a bonus stage. So it was in a demo. All right, that's good. it was a full game in within a, a Sam demo. Okay. 35 likes and I'll drop a dono. No, you've already done that, Monkey Jesus. You don't have to do that, man. Um, I've got one and the copy of the edit disc thanks to Craig Harrison. Right. Uh, well, uh, Craig, um, yeah, if, you, if you've got the emulator for that, um, yeah, please could you drop box me it. That would be great. Um, or one of you. One of you, please. Because um, I've never seen that. I'm going to have to have a look at that. I'm going to really have to look at that because Pang is one of my all-time favourite games. So I'm definitely going to have to look at one of that. Uh, that's that's intrigued me. You have intrigued the bug, very much so, and I will be the final judge and jury of whether that version is better than the GX4000 version. Because I'm sorry, as far as I'm aware, because uh, I have played that is the only version of Pang I've never played. Because I when I did my research for the Pang, I, I played every version, and the GX4000 version is the best. And I am being biased, but tough shit. So um, I have to look at that. Nova, your A to Z is deserving of more views. Fantastic uh, picks. Yeah, I really do work hard on the A to Z systems one. I really do work hard on them. Um, I don't get the views on them. It's a bit annoying that I don't get the views on them. But I will work at them and I will finish that series. It's a shame that it just didn't gain on the views that I hoped it did. I really do try and find the best pictures. And when I do, I try and Photoshop them as well as I can and, and enhance them as well as I can. Anyway, everyone. Run, the rap is loaded. Yeah, we know it's a shit game. Enter the name. I'm not going to enter my name. Fuck it. Go away. Uh, and of course, one. Yeah. Yeah, this is a rubbish game, isn't it? I remember this being utter crap. Oh, go that way, you twat. There you go. Oh, I've got that, I've got that. Oh, I've tipped over like a bell end. Right. Oops, I've dropped that. I don't know. I'll send you over Sim Coupe on my Sam Pang this tonight bug. Oh, thanks, man. That'll be, uh, that'll be cool of you if you've got that. Right, that's uh, that's that done. Um, looks like another game, maybe Super Champs or something. I want an MSX Turbo R, but I can't afford one. I've actually got um, I've got an MSX. What is that MSX I've got? I've got an MSX Turbo. Uh, where is it? Is it in there? Hang on a minute. Yeah, hang on. Here it is. Is my MSX, which I've still got to uh, get around to uh, getting a power pack for. Everyone, I did a video for this. Don't know if it, I don't think this is a Turbo R. I forget what version this is. Hang on. So, da, 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 da. no, not in there. Hang on. We're gonna finish on this. It's a Panasonic. This is one anyway. My nice. Um. I'm going to turn this up. I have an MSX. So this is my MSX. Um, it's, a, it's an A1F. So this, is, this is my MSX. Here. Lovely. I love it. Lovely, lovely machine. Uh, this um, was sent to me. This was sent to me by... Um, I'll, uh, I prefer the Bentley Turbo RX. I don't think... I don't, this is an MSX2 Panasonic one. And I really need to get this uh, powered up and going. I'd love to get it running. I've, I do have a game for it as well. I have Nemesis. As a cartridge, um, Nemesis as a cartridge to get that going. So yeah, I really want to get that going. <laughs> it was um, uh, a QU that sent me that. Um, Keith, Keith sent me that. Yeah, very kind, very kind of him to do that. But I really got to get a, a step down power pack to get that going. Uh, congrats, Nova. 
yes, decent MSX that. Um, and I do really want to uh, want to get that going. There we go. Sorry, I moved the camera there, haven't I? Right. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna proper build up my systems this year. I have around 20 at the moment, still missing loads. Well, I'm I'm trying to I'm collecting games at the moment to keep this stream going. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm some focusing at the moment. But I do want to get that MSX going. I've also got a sharp uh, MZ um, as well, which I'm going to do a video on. Um, I still need to get around to doing that because I've got to find a power cable for it. But I've got a sharp MZ with some games. So I want to look at that and get that hooked up. So that'll be an interesting video to make. Um, yeah, never, 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 ever used a sharp MZ before. But that's, a, that's another interesting system. But anyway, that is for another, another... Uh, hold on, and I'll show you the link to uh, the Sam Pang video. I have one of those Sharp MX 700s. It's an MZ. It's an MZ 700. I'm sure that's what it is. I thought you were going to say a Sharp X 68000 there. Oh, bloody wish. I really wish I had a Sharp 68000. Just need 10 seconds. Come on, Patrick. Hurry up. Hurry up, man. Just need 10 seconds because he wants to quick plug in first. So anyway, we got the bonus game loaded. That was good. Um, everything loaded apart from Airwolf, which was, again, predictably crap. But hey, that's Airwolf for you. I'm off the phone over there. There's Patrick's uh, link to the Sam video. I will have a look at that in a minute once I've uh, finished processing this video. And that is... Um, it's an unlisted video. Well, I'll see it on the link in a minute. Uh, I, I can't lick it on this. Not while I'm streaming. I can't watch it while I'm streaming. So, um, send me the link. Yeah, that Okay, fine. Send me the link uh, on PM or something, Patrick. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Amstrad Live Game Testing. It's been a nice night. It's been a fun night. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Heads up for the basement. Thanks for the stream, Novaberg. And thanks for the chat, everyone. Indeed, thank you for the chat, everyone. Thank you for very kind donations. Like I say, check out my Patreon. Check out my merch page. All links in the description box if you are interested in being a member of the Bug Army or just wearing some Bug Army attire. And I will bid you a fond farewell. Good night, one and all. No bug. Out.